Oh, hello, welcome back to an episode of Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode. We are going to stand over here really quick. Uh, we are continuing on where we left off last episode. Um, I will want to make mention that I did kill a nymph, which is the thing that drops the metal detector uh, that allowed me to make this goblin attack. I was unable to capture it on camera. Uh, it was just kind of rambly. I started attacking something that was attacking me, and then I realized, oh hey, it was a nymph, and then it died, and it was a bit too late then. Uh, but I did pick up one from them, and uh, made this menacing goblin tag. I've also been reforging some of my items here, so I got... I, I didn't know Legendary could actually be on the Hammax, but apparently it can. Uh, I got Legendary on the Phase Blade, uh, Mythical on the Space Gun, and Light on the Pickaxe, which I, I want to say doesn't really do much for me. It just allows me to mine a bit faster. Um, I also worked on these as well, but they are not perfect yet either. Um, I'm using a winter cape now instead of the uh, one I was using before, and it's reflective silver dye, and the other one's a red acid dye for the armors. Um, I, I, I like this look at the better. Uh, for better. For, for the better? For the better for the moment. Whatever. Also, I did a lot of exploration in the Antlion Hill, um, got most of it explored, still haven't found anything unique or interesting in there. Um, I have also done a lot of exploration over here in the icy area, um, we will have to check this area out over here at some point. This is one of those granite biomes that I was talking about, I believe, a couple episodes ago. Um, is there anything else? Uh, oh, yes, yes there is. Uh, you may notice this penguin icon up here. Maybe penguin. I ended up finding in a chest a fish, and it's equipable, and it summons a baby penguin. So yeah, there's a, there's a baby penguin. It, it doesn't do any damage as far as I can tell, but it does follow me around. So I mean, it, whatever. <laughs> I don't have a pet otherwise, so uh, yeah. We this episode are hopefully going to kill off the brain of Cthulhu. I have done some work over there, cleaning up some of the stuff and uh, putting together some regeneration things. I also have a heart, re a heart reach potion, uh, allow me to uh, pick up hearts from further away, a thorns potion, which means attackers will take damage, so if I do get hit, they'll uh, send, take some of that damage back as well. A uh, regen potion, so I'm going to have this on top of a campfire and a heart lantern. Uh, an iron skin potion, which will increase my defense by 8, uh, which is going to be very, very helpful. Uh, as well as a Nine Owl Potion, I don't think the Nine Owl Potion is going to be very helpful in terms of combat, but it will allow me to see any uh, mobs coming at me from around me that uh, may be causing a bit of a problem uh, compared to the rest. Um, other than that, I also have this Foe, which I will be consuming as well. Uh, increases life regen and minor improvements to all stats. I'm not exactly sure what food does. Uh, in terms of what stats it increases and by how much, but uh, we will be checking that out uh, when we get over there. I also have 30 uh, healing potions, uh, the ones that restore 100 HP, as you can see there with the mouse over it. Did the penguin fly to me? Um, other, than, ow, other than that, and me not really paying attention, we should be more or less good to go on killing the brain of Cthulhu, hopefully. Um, I do want. Uh, let me let me check this. Uh, how about unlocked? What? Oh, I don't know what that means. Uh, okay, so this does increase knockback. Okay, I wanted to check that. Yeah, I uh, cleaned up the platforms here quite a bit. I also have a uh, banner here for killing off the spiders, uh, which will allow me to deal with them a bit better. Um, let's see, though, there is a heart on over to here. So let's head on here and destroy this one. Alright, there goes one. Um, I will save that one there for the last, and I did come down here just a bit. I did see this chest, and we were going to be checking it out before we take on the Brain of Cthulhu. Uh, I remember seeing those uh, those chests in the past, but I don't recall what's in them. Uh, okay, I don't have a glow stick on me. That's, that's unfortunate. Okay, there we go. 
So yeah, let's get through this uh, crimtain or crimstone rather, and uh, see about getting to this chest over here to see what's in it. It's all green. It's all shiny. It's grabbing my attention. I want to know what's in it. I want to know what's in it now. So what? What do you? What, what are these? Gold bricks? These are gold bricks apparently. That I am mining that I can't really tell because of well the torch. I uh, got a green torch. Okay. What do we have in here? A small staff of regrowth um, creates grass and moss on dirt and stone. Increases alchemy plant collection when used together. Uh, to, to, to gather, rather, not together. Uh, honey dispenser, silver coins, recall potion, hunter potion. Okay. Honey dispenser. So this is a. Oh, oh, oh. I am. I'm slightly dying there. So this is a jungle chest. Uh, which I'm kind of surprised that there is one here, but uh, so be it. I have no problem with it. I like it. But uh, that was two of the three. Let's go ahead and get rid of these enemies here. Okay, now we just gotta head on down and knock out this third one before the Brand of Cthulhu appears. Do we seriously get two Crimson Hearts from that? I'm gonna trash one of them just because I, I I already have one. I don't need two more. I'll, I'll keep one on extra just in case they add something to it in the future. But okay, ready? Okay. Oh, ow! And buff. Ah, uh, you can press the B key, the B key to uh, quickly quickly get all of your potions used at once. Ow. There must be a de uh, an effect that happens, because uh, I, I end up not dealing damage to them. Uh, after I get hit a few times. I don't know if it's like a confusion thing or what. Uh, ow. Okay, um, supposedly knockback is supposed to work on this enemy. Uh, do I have anything with better knockback? I do. I gotta remember this is auto attack. I don't have to keep clicking with it. Okay, so he is still hitting me a bit. Um, it doesn't seem to be as much as it could be. Um. Ooh! Ooh! We did it! We finally did it! We have finally defeated one. We have defeated a Brain of Cthulhu. That is awesome. Um, I will leave this arena here in case we need to defeat any more in the future. Uh, but let's see. What did we get? What did we get? We got the treasure bag. So it looks like we got some potions and gold. Or uh, some money. Uh, but from that bag, we got an armored brain of confusion. That is it. And uh, quite a bit of gold, actually. Uh, what does this brain do? Uh, may confuse nearby enemies after being struck. Huh? Um, that honestly doesn't sound that useful. It really doesn't. Alrighty. Um, I, I think he does drop other things, but I'm really surprised that we didn't get anything better from him. Uh, but if I remember correctly from our, old, uh, from playing before, we'll actually be heading on out and to the left. Uh, towards the jungle and actually exploring that because I believe that is where our next uh, progression goes in terms of uh, weapons and whatnot. Uh, hopefully we find something better than this uh, space gun or phase blade for de dishing out quite a bit more damage because as much as I want to kill the brain of Cthulhu over and over again uh, he will be a bit of a problem in that regard if uh, if I don't have potions, and honestly, I'd rather not have to use potions over and over again to kill him. 
Yeah, into the jungle area over here to see what all that may exist for us. I must have drank a danger sense potion. No, I must have drank a hunter's potion. But yeah, this is the jungle. We've gone over it quite a few times, but uh, we've never really entered it. And we have hit the underground jungle. So if I remember correctly, these guys drop spores and other weapons that uh, should be... Uh, or uh, spores and other items that will be beneficial for us to build things. Oh, and we get the chance of... Uh, uh, getting a sword off of that. Yeah, enchanted sword. There we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a decent weapon. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that gold chest, everything out of that. Wait, sky blue flower. Uh, we'll get rid of that rope and those torches. Used to make sky blue die, okay. Interesting. Oh, another life crystal. Uh, not that I really need it, but uh, I will grab it. I'll grab it anyway. Hmm. I thought it would have ran into. Bit, wait, what is this stuff? Are these leaves? They appear to be. I thought it would have ran into something a bit more uh, interesting by now, but apparently I have not. Is that a chest? Trash those and those, and we don't need that, uh, but I will take you, chest. I'll get rid of that one green torch and the rich mahogany wood. I'll take the ivy chest. Wow. Uh, Alright, so we are actually getting down to the bees and whatnot. Good. Who is hitting me? Ah, good, good. This down here is... Uh, honey. Honey is a good thing that we are looking for. It offers uh, health regen. If you are in it. Like if I... Stand it in here, you get honey effect. Life regeneration is increased. I would like to actually pick those up. Let's see, we can get rid of those, those, and those, and leg root. And those, and those, and those, actually, wait, yeah, those are dirt, uh, not dirt, mud, Never mind. Uh, but we'll have to come back for a uh, bucket of that, just so we can replicate it later on. Because so I don't have anything on me to replicate it with, or to pick it up, at a second. And these hornets shoot stingers at you, if I remember correctly. Oh! <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I saw the detonator a bit too late there, and I I went to stop, and I ended up stopping directly on top of it. Well, that happened. Um. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um. I suppose since we're back here, we can drop off a bunch of items. Gold bricks go in there. Uh, this is an extra chest. Um, let me use this chest for now, just for miscellaneous items that I don't exactly need on me right at this second. Uh, that I'll sort through off camera. Uh, it'll be quicker than me trying to deal with it on camera. Or cutting. Let's head on back over to the jungle, though, uh, and actually explore it a bit more with a bit more of an empty inventory, though I suppose there's a few other things I could have dropped off. 
Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm actually going to cut here. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back, but I figured we would enter from a different uh, location here just to see where this one takes us. This is a bit closer to the Crimson, um, and I'm very interested to know where this takes us. If at all anywhere interesting. Doesn't seem to be anything interesting thus far. Oh, hey, there's another uh, life crystal. I'm gonna take that. Uh, yeah, does not seem to be very opening over here at all. Dead yet? God, the cobwebs and stuff are just in the way for days. Uh, do we have anything else further down over here, or does it just kind of roughly end? It might might be going somewhere. Water seems to be going somewhere. Nothing. Uh, and I'm also looking over here at the right, by the way, uh, where it says tungsten nearby. If there is a chest nearby that it finds, it will let me know. It'll be, it's a very useful thing, the metal detector, which was combined into the goblin tech I was mentioning at the beginning of the episode. Unfortunately, it's not like this Malanker potion, though, where it tells you where it is, which is really the only downside I can think of with it. needs to die, and so does that one, and yeah. Oh good, there's another chest right there. Okay. Let's see, let's get in here and check out this chest. I do see you, man eater. I do indeed see you. Oh, shameful, shameful staff of regrowth. Uh, Tanksa bars, gold coin, potions, glow sticks. Okay, nothing, nothing too significant. I'm also going to take that torch away just so uh, I don't see this on uh, the game window at a later date to be like, oh hey, there's a chest I missed. When in reality, I had gotten it just fine. However, I can't see where the heck I'm going right now because there's just not enough lighting from everything else. Also, those guys actually hit still pretty hard. 45 damage, huh? On uh, melee contact, that's... Yeah, those are leaves. Oh, hey, there's another chest right there. Little chest. Oh, so if I don't pick up the chests, um, the metal detector will uh, pick them up um, as being things that I have yet to pick up. <laughs> so, like, if I had left that chest there, it would always say that there is a chest in this area, even though I have cleared them. Um, really good reason to be picking those up. Also, I haven't actually gone up one of these little shafts. I didn't really actually go anywhere, did it? That's interesting. Oh, whoa, 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 that's a lot of promise. There's a life crystal detected nearby, huh? I wonder where we're at. Uh, 
to say, I can get through here, right? Yes, yes I can. I, I kind of wish we got uh, into a more open area this way. It's really unfortunate that we have to do this mining. Uh, did I pick up any bombs, by the way? I have not. Uh, that can be garbage. Uh, along with the green torch. The green torches, by the way, are made from emeralds and torches. Um, they're not that important to me, in my opinion. They're great and all, but uh, they're they're just not on my priority level. Let's let's keep this thing. Okay, and uh, if we don't destroy the life crystals, it won't tell me if there's any chest nearby. It's apparently in uh, preference thing. It refers to tell you about the most rare thing it thinks of, uh, and the life crystal is up there because, well, it gives you life. So, I mean, uh, I can't blame it, but uh, I kind of wish it didn't. Uh, but the metal detector also does not tell you where gems are. So those rubies I just picked up would have never shown up on that. Uh, there is some sort of light down there. Let's check that out. Ah. So many enemies. So many enemies. Get the torch down so we can actually see around here. The music in this area always reminds me of Donkey Kong. And I don't know why. What are those? I forget what those are. Screw you, man eater. You have to touch me from there? What the, what the heck? Alrighty. Oh, hey, more honey. Right, that is good news. And a marbly area. Uh, that is where Medusa lives. That is where Medusa lives. There is Medusa. Bye, Medusa. Uh, marble is a wonderful, wonderful material I love to build with. There's actually quite a few of these little miniature biomes, if you want to call them that, in the world. Also, hitting a jellyfish out of water still hurts. Good to know. Oh good, we've uh, came full circle and I've started to run into the same stuff we were just at. Before. Same stuff we were just at before, and this is where I died from the tungsten detonation. Okay. I know where I am now, I think. Okay, so we have how many spores? Seven. We got eight vines. Do we have any stingers? We should. Yeah, we got eleven. Um, I don't think that's enough for anything. I can remember. I'm trying to remember uh, how many stingers and stuff it takes uh, for certain things, and I, I I cannot say I recall right now on what those numbers are. Also, I really hate getting poisoned by these damn mobs. 
They they are evil. Are they poison? But all right. Uh, let's head on back. Let's see what we can make, if anything, uh, from the stingers and whatnot. Uh, let's do a quick deposit. Okay, so these are essentially the new materials from there. The vines, the jungle spores, and the stingers. Um, we also get ivy chests, of course, but uh, I don't really consider those to be a material because they're not. Uh, let's see, with the vines we can make a, a, a ivy whip. We need 12 jungle spores for that. Uh, we can make an Amazon, which appears to be a yo-yo. Using two stingers, a vine, and three jungle spores. And we can also make jungle pits. Uh, increases maximum mana by 20, and 4% increased magical, uh, magic critical strike chance. Okay, so that's all the things we make up with the vine. For the jungle spores, we're going to have quite a few of the same, uh, actually. Uh, Blade of Grass is actually a very nice weapon. Uh, 28 melee damage uh, compared to our 24 or 24 at the moment. 10% uh, crit strike chance, 10% un uh, unmodified by the way, no modifier on that. 15% uh, crit chance um, with a legendary modifier on it. Uh, average speed, very weak knockback, and this is a material and it has a chance to... So, so this actually goes into something else. Uh, a thorn chakram, which is actually very nice of a weapon. I, I do like the thorn cut chakram. Um, does not do as much damage as the Blade of Grass, however the Chakram bounces around and does uh, pretty pretty good damage amount actually. Also if you notice it has a very strong drop back and it's a very good weapon against the Brandon Cthulhu. Uh, the Ivy Whip of course, the Amazon Jungle Hat, uh, just recovery spores, uh, increases maximum mana by 40 and crit chance, mana, crit chance, mana, crit chance, uh, is what the Jungle Armor set is for. Um, and finally, does the stingers offer anything interesting? The stingers can be put into the thorns potion, uh, potions, a flask of poison, poison darts, uh, the blade of grass of course, thorn chakra, Amazon, jungle shirt, and abomination. Um, the abomination summons the queen bee which is the boss quote unquote of the jungle area. Um, that honey is there for a reason and those hornets are there for a reason as well. It is because of the queen bee, and I am noticing how many butterflies there are around me right now, and I I just I just want to pick them all, and I just want to get them all. Got got to get all of them. You down there, come mine. Okay. Um, da -da -da, fishing. Alrighty. So, essentially, uh, I am probably going to. Well, I'm going to end off the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, off. Off camera, uh, I may go back to the jungle and do a bit of a collection. If there's anything of interest, I'll make sure to include it into the next episode. Uh, such as the uh, shrine chests, uh, those ones that are lit up. Uh, I will make sure to include those being opened and checked out, as well as if I find the um, Queen Bee boss area, if you will. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to leave a like if you did, and until next time, take it easy.